I made up some more epoxy and I put this around here. I'm sealing it down in there. So I'll let this seal up a little bit and then I'll take the tape off and then we'll see where it's where it's at. We may have to uh, put some more on there. I, I'm not sure how it got down to the bottom, but it flows a little bit. So it should flow down to the bottom down there. And then we'll just kind of build it up and see where it goes from there. And then I'm not sure if I want to test it with just this fix or go in and try this one here. But I think I'm going to try this one here first. We'll put a test batch in and see what it does. And then uh, we'll, we'll try it again. We'll keep working on it until we figure out what the problem is. Well, I know what the big basic problem is, bad design, but uh, uh, that's a different story. Yeah, it's been a few minutes now, and let's take a look at the epoxy and see now it's it's a little bit above there. Come around here, just like it did on the, the back one. I have that little bit there. So now when I put the tape on again, it's gonna flow towards a little more level. See, this is kind of just about level. So what I'll do is I'll let this sit just a little bit here and I'll mix up another batch. Um, and then we'll seal this. Now that's completely sealed in there. If I have to take it off, I'm not sure how I'm going to do it, but we'll have to basically just chip and cut this off to get it out of there. But that is completely sealed up. So we'll, we'll let this run for a little bit. I'll mix up some more epoxy and put some more tape on there and we'll fill it in. So this is completely potted in there. Well, after our last attempt at fixing the leak, uh, the batch, I loaded up uh, the tomatoes and the carrot, and then it still aired out it, about eight hours later. There we go. Let's, pull, let's go ahead and pull this off. What we've done on the first one is we did this around the wires, and it helped, but it didn't fix the problem. So I come around and I put some more around this part of it here. And that sealed it up and then I run a batch. Now remember we tightened this really tight first and then we did this. So there was two problems. So the first batch, let me put this cover back on because it does get cold down there. So the first batch after fixing that, I have the, the tomatoes and the carrots in there like I'm doing a test before. And now then I went through all the freeze, vacuum freezing and then the vacuum drying and we're still holding you know a good 343 millitors uh, during the drying process so it's holding a vacuum much better than it was before because that that is vacuum pressure that we wasn't even hardly getting to before so we may have fixed it i'm going to run a couple more batches to make sure it did get fixed and then we'll uh, we'll call this this done and we'll, we'll pass it on to who all is having this problem that they need to fix those three places in order to get it solved.